In this video, you'll learn how to implement Tick via Google Tag Manager and Elevar's server-side tracking. If you have access to your TikTok Ads Manager, where you can get your pixel ID and your access token, then this setup will only take a few minutes. There are four steps required to go live. The first step is installing the data layer, the Elevar data layer on your store to use with Google Tag Manager and the pixels. Then there's a step of actually importing the Google Tag Manager web containers, then configuring the server side destination inside of Elevar, and finally testing and go live. So let's jump into the details of each one of these steps. So the first step will be inside your Elevar account. You'll go through the process of configuring, configuring your data layer and installing on your store. And this will install three snippets and we have guides on going through exactly what's installed on your theme. And if you need to implement consent mode, you can also go through that process of in, uh, implementing CookieBot, OneTrust, or potentially future vendors that we integrate with. And this data layer is ultimately going to help populate events across your store, like product view, add to cart, initiate checkout and purchase events that the web container for GTM is going to need to trigger the different TikTok pixel events. Once you are done with this first step, then we'll transition into your actual tracking type setup. So there are three different ways you can go through launching TikTok. You can go through client side tracking only. So just using the GTM web container, or you can go client and server side, which is what TikTok recommends, or you can go server side only. As of right now, TikTok still recommends client side and server side tracking running, running in parallel, just like Facebook and the conversion API. Now, please note the UI that you're that you are looking at here, we are going through the process of merging our server side destinations and our pre-built client side destinations. So it may look a little bit different depending on when you are watching this video, but the setup will all live inside destinations here and uh, we'll go through both the client side and server side tracking setup here in a minute. So let's make sure that you have access to your ads manager and you have this pulled up and we'll go through the process of getting everything live. So the first step is going to be taking your pixel ID inside ads manager that you want to configure. And we'll start with our GTM web tag. So we can just pop over to our web tag, download the container and import into GTM. Once we have the TikTok events imported into GTM, you'll see that they are all pre-configured and set up for you. So your product view events, is already set up with the TikTok user identifiers and the various data that TikTok is looking for in their events. We also have the event ID set up for deduplication with the events API, i.e. the server side events. And again, these are all pre-mapped and pre-configured to the events that are being populated from the Elevar data layer installed on your store. So you'll see all of these events. You can make modifications if you need to, but most customers just leave these as is, as they are built to the TikTok spec. Once you are done and have this set up inside your web container, the next step will be configuring your server side integrations. So if you have not configured your TikTok destination yet inside the app, then you can click add destination. And this will walk you through a few steps here, which you'll see selecting which events you want powered from the server side integration selecting your primary product identifier. So the primary default is product ID, just like Facebook. Then you can go through the process of selecting which transactions you want to send. Since this is the server side integration, Elevar will potentially send every purchase conversion that comes through your store in different channels to TikTok, or you can choose to block these. So if you don't want to send point of sale orders or draft orders, et cetera, you can configure and block those. We have additional customization options that you can go through our help guide to give you a little bit more context and clarity on blocking by tags, gateways, etc. The last step here will be your TikTok pixel ID and the access token to ultimately go live with your conversion API and your pixel ID. So once you are done and you have everything live and published in the web container and the server side container, you can actually use the Elevar real time activity. So you'll see I just placed an order and you'll see the order being processed here and sent to my destinations. And you can expand this to see 
the TikTok event was actually sent. If this had an error, if you had a wrong uh, token or pixel ID, you would see a failed notice here. And all of your server side events ultimately roll up and we report in your channel accuracy, accuracy report, excuse me. So if you ever have tracking that blocks, uh, drops below 95%, you'll see that notification come through via email and you'll also see this on your dashboard. So that is it in terms of going live with your TikTok, Pixel, and GTM, as well as your events API in the LOVR server side settings and how you can monitor these events over time to ensure that your tracking stays at 100%. Good luck setting up and let us know if we can help with any questions.